there's a river that glides by, trees that tower above, and a surrounding neighborhood that is alive with arts. In short, it's one of the most idyllic settings any theater could ever ask for. Very soon, the doors will open to the new heart of a community, the Lear Theater, on the banks of the Truckee River in downtown Reno. The graceful exterior of the Lear, originally built in 1939, is only a hint of the beauty within. The design of famed architect Paul R. Williams, the first African American to be elected to the American Institute of Architecture's College of Fellows. There's the main lobby, a gathering place filled with the buzz of friendship and conversation, as well as a wall commemorating the believers who made the Lear possible. It's a comforting entry, prelude to a magnificent centerpiece. The main theater. Here you can anticipate plays, performances, and events of every shape and size. From intimate concerts, to pageants, to Broadway plays. Beneath her chandeliered ceiling, the room seats 425 people and is accentuated by a sound and lighting system that is state-of-the-art. The main stage commands a sweeping view of the room. And perched above it all is a balcony with seating that is nothing short of awe-inspiring. Also at the balcony level is the art gallery where VIP guests can relax, mingle, and enjoy a variety of affairs in a room framed by the various works of local artists. Still at balcony level, you'll come to the studio, a performance space that's home to receptions, rehearsals, and black box theater. Within the studio, Artists and actors can rehearse on a stage whose proportions are identical to the Lear Theater's main stage. Downstairs, stage right, is the green room, where entertainers can gather, socialize, or seek the solitude they need to prepare for their performances. Also on the main level are two chorus dressing rooms for men and women. Each room accommodates up to 25 performers and serves both the main theater and the children's theater located downstairs. Downstairs in what was once a Sunday school room will be the setting for smaller events, experimental theater, storytelling and puppetry, meetings, seminars, training sessions, receptions and rehearsals. It's an intimate setting that's ideal for a variety of functions. And of course, as a children's theater, it's also that stage where tomorrow's entertainers are taking shape today. Thank you for taking the time to tour the Lear Theater. Very soon, you'll have the pleasure of seeing it in person. And when her doors open, you can proudly say that you were among those who had the vision to help make reality at the Lear Theater, one who held the power to believe.